from cocci. They're from a species called Streptococcus pneumonia. Now, these bacteria are often in your throat and your nose without causing any symptoms whatsoever. It's important to understand, though, that not all these bacteria are the same. So if you take a quick look at these shells, they look very, very similar. Let's call them strains from the same species. So if they were actually pneumococci strain, if you take any two and you compare them, they're 75% identical and 25% different. These differences are very important for their capacity to cause disease. For example, it's what determines whether they're antibiotic susceptible or antibiotic resistant. It's what determines the likelihood that they'll move to a different part of your body. For example, the likelihood that that strain can cause meningitis, the likelihood that that strain can cause pneumonia. It might make them produce or not produce certain factors that can do things like fool your immune system and make it much harder for your immune system to deal with it, or just directly cause you a toxic effect. So these are all things that are determined by the differences between these strains. This project is, at, is about studying a set of strains that I find particularly important. Why do I find this set of strains particularly important? Well, there are three key reasons. The first one, they were isolated from patients that were sick. So it's very likely that they have, they have the capacity to cause disease. Second, they were isolated all over the world. They've spread worldwide, so they're very common strains. So the likelihood that you will acquire them is pretty high. Third, they're antibiotic resistant. Not only resistant to one antibiotic, but they're resistant to many antibiotics. So that makes them very hard to treat. So this is a very important set of strains, and these are the strains that we're going to study.